the coaxial cable production workshop is dust free and silent. According to client's order, the worker will draw and rule the coaxial wire on the fixture. Another worker will fix it by tape and cut to the right length. The distribution wire may be rearranged due to different connector requirements. The process of coaxial cable almost achieves fully automatic production. The worker will fix the coaxial cable on the clamp and put it on the machine. The laser will firstly cut the jacket of the coaxial cable. The AC part of the cutting will be peeled off. The laser will secondly cut the shielding of the coaxial cable. The AC part also peeled off. For better conduction and insulation, worker will connect the ground roll with coaxial cable. Next, the laser will thoroughly cut the inner insulation layer, and the AC part are peeled off as the same. Coaxial cable will cover flux, and the inner conductor will cover tin to prevent oxidation. Finally, the coaxial cable will be shaved, and the AC part of the ground roll will be cut off. Before soldering to connector, the tap will be removed and retaped as local reinforcement. Then the worker will connect the inner conductor with pin of the connector and use machine for soldering. After that, the worker will check the joint via microscope to avoid bad soldering. Next will be the first conduction test to ensure electrical performance. Housing is an inevitable step. We usually use metal shell but also teflon if needed. We will simply solder tin on the metal shell for better conduction. Then injecting UV glue on the joint between the coaxial cable and connect using a UV line machine for UV curing. Because of different conduction requirements, the coaxial cable will be reshaped on the fixture and fixed by insulation test. Normally, we will rub acetate tap to prevent EMI. And then we will have the second conduction test. The final part is checking the appearance and pack the coaxial table. We generally use pure cotton to rub the connector and 10 pieces as a bundle. 